Welcome back innovators. In this video, I am going to talk about the second source of innovation, the incongruity. This one is a fun one because when you ask someone why do they operate in a particular way and they respond because we have always have done it in this way. This is an indicator. There may be a case of incongruity there because they operate in a way that the status quo instead of asking is there a better way to do it a particular function bottom line if someone conflicts with the status quo most of us are not inclined to change it let me give some examples of the incongruity in an attempt to resolve the existing incongruities people might innovate. For example, as a population of cars grew, there was a shortage of parking area. In an attempt to solve the incongruity between the parking area and the parking shortages, the smart cars was born. Smart car is a small car, they can fit into any small pieces. Another example, the inception of mini steel mills is an example of successfully exploiting an incongruity before the management of the larger integrated steel mills in the United States realized what was occurring in the industry. Then they exploited. An example of the incongruity existed in the ocean going fear fighting industry that was believed to be dying in the year 1960s. The major assumption about the industry was the main expense of the ship was while it was traveling from point A to point B. Considerable efforts were made to direct faster and more efficient ships, fewer crew members, etc. in order to reduce the cost. An innovator concluded that these assumptions about the industry were wrong and the major cost were while the ships was idle in the port awaiting cargo unloading and new cargo to be loaded. Huh? The result, of, the result was the invention of the cargo container and roll-on, roll-off ships and which the container vessels. Overall cost reduced by 60% and the industry survived has grown dramatically ever since. Actually, the shipping container was developed by Malcolm McLean in late 1960s and saw its original applications by the government in shipping supplies for the Vietnam war. What assumptions are being made within your industry that may be contributing to this type of incongruity and how can they be exploited? Another example, Facebook is a company that nailed it Prior to the social network's profile rise, MySpace was a dominant player, but, but it had its own downfalls. Facebook is a company wisely noted what MySpace versus what should be a built that platform. The end results, you all know it. Likewise, Southwest Airlines provided a dramatical different approach for the airline services. No airfares, no frills, first come first seat approach devoted customers. Southwest Airlines has remained profitable for 31 straight years even during the economic downtimes following the terrorist attacks in 2001. Many airlines struggled to remain in the business, but 
South West Airlines were successful. So the tip here is one of the best places to look for the incongruity is in your own customers. Their complaints and unmet wants are all the hints for you. Thank you. See you in the next video.